Hello, so I have a special surprise for everyone today. For anybody who's been watching our channel for very long, you'll know that Keith and I spent actually quite a bit of time at Yale University. So we lived in New Haven for about three and a half years prior to moving to Boston. And today we're meeting some friends for lunch in New Haven. So while here, I thought I would take you to some of my favorite of reading nooks sort of uh, within the libraries here at Yale and give you a little tour. So with that being said I want to start with one of my favorites and I'll show you sort of the outside and then we'll pan inside to some of the structural details which I think are really beautiful. I think that this is probably one of the most beautiful libraries that I've ever been in and I want to share. So here we go. So behind me is the entrance to the stacks, but unfortunately, since we're no longer students uh, slash scientists here, we don't have access because we don't have Yale IDs anymore, which is unfortunate. But the prettiest part really is downstairs. I'm gonna take you to my favorite reading nook next. So off we go. Even the ceilings are beautiful here. There's wonderful little details and different scenes on each of them. So, it really is one of the most beautiful libraries that I've ever been in. So this is one of the little reading nooks that's within the center of the library. And fortunately they have it closed off today, so I can't take you out inside. But I used to sit on the benches out here and read before Keith moved here. And I love all of the little details. So there's these little stained glass inserts and wrought iron sculptures that are around all of the windows. And the stained glass work is just beautiful. There's also cherubs that are supposed to represent the perils of the student and the scholar. So I'll show you those next. So these are some of the little sculptural details that I was talking that I love. This one is uh, a man pouring over a book and a wise owl. I'm sure that these have backstory, but I just don't know what, what it is. There's also a great one with a lantern back from when this was built. So I will take you to each of these. <laughs> because it's not truly grad school or studying unless there's beer involved. In my mind, that's what that is. Though I think he might be painting, I'm unsure. And this one basically sums up my experience being here. Sad news, the Benicki Library is actually not opening until 12, which is after the time that I'm going to actually be in New Haven. So we're going to have to do little inserts from pictures that I took previously from the inside. And it, the surprise is that when the sun hits it, it's actually very thin marble on all those squares that you saw. So it illuminates like it's lit by a candle. So it's this beautiful sort of soft candle orange yellow that's really pretty. 